Hello there and welcome back to my videos. In this video we want to speak about the uh, Python and we're working with the Jinja uh, template engine. And if you see the previous video, you already know how you can uh, create a multi HTML file and extend them into each other and how we work with variables and external files. And today I will show how we can work with loops and the loops using if you have an, uh, like a lot of users, a lot of uh, employees you want to list on your website or something like that. And that's what we want to do today. So let's beginning. First we want to import Jinja and then we want to say the Jinja environment is uh, environment here and the loader should be the file uh, Jinja file here and with the template folder. I will create this here. HTML template and layout. Then we have it here. Let's go back and then we want the Jinja variables. And that's fine for now. And uh, then we need the template and it should be Jinja environment temp get template sorry and we're going down to the variables here and we want to print it out and what we want to say is a template rendering and ginger here I'm making mistake here layout dot HTML let's test it's working and here we go that's fine so let's just say we have a users we have a user here say user1 and user2 and user3 and now we want to list it out in our layout file and we're going back here and then the thing we basically need to do here is just to say uh, whoops this one uh, make a for loop for user in users and then we close it down here again and then you make the uh, in for loop and we want to make it in list form so we just do this one and run it again and now you can see we have uh, we have the user 1, user 2 and the user 3 and Probably you thinking what happening if we have a user with the usernames and uh, the office like if you have an employees uh, I'll just copy this and whoops and put it in here uh, and set number two because then we have uh, the layout layout 2 here and we'll work with uh, layout 2 here and what we want to do here let's call it employees and we we'll say the name Paris and office Denmark And then we say the pop and Germany, something like that. And we put it into the, the layout too. And here I basically just say the name Oops. and the office. And we want to change this. Let's uh, test it with the running the app two, and we keep going up here in the Paris in Denmark and Bob in Germany. That's how we're working with the uh, variables here. Thank you for watching this video. 
as always i really hope you want to subscribe this channel so if you don't know how to subscribe you can go down in the right corner below and press on the ding and if you have any comments you can please uh, type them and i will try to answer them as fast as possible of course and all my source code can be downloaded on my uh, github profile you can find the links in the description below i hope you share this video with your friends or put it to a playlist so you always can find my videos Thank you so much and hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.